Well, lads and lassies, good morning. It is a beautiful morning here in Western Australia, not just because of the sun, but because of some of the releases that have taken place over the past 24 hours. So as you guys know, Nathan Thompson's uh, Flat Earth and Globe discussion group has come to an end. And now we finally have a reaction to that. So we actually have, in real time, the initial reaction to the news that his beloved Facebook group, I've got a Facebook group with 140,000 people. <laughs> his reaction to that being taken down. Oh, it's, it's great. Um, and then following that, we also have an interview that was done with him following the loss of his beloved channel. So we'll get stuck straight into that. Um, roll the intro. So this first part of the video takes place at Flattoberfest. Yeah, Flattoberfest. It's where a lot of Flat Earthers get together in a room, jammed in together during the COVID-19 pandemic without masks on to talk about their imaginary, I don't know, Flatland, I guess. I, I don't know. God, my mustache has got a mind of its own over here. Jesus, Murphy. See, the unmustachioed of you might not understand this but when you have a bath or a shower or go swimming and then you go to bed and then you wake up without putting any you know oils or creams in your luscious beard it gets scraggy like this anyway <laughs> moving on from there so they're at the Flattoberfest Mark Sargent is on the stage I, Mark Sargent I tip my hat to you sir for one man to be the I guess the leader of the flat earth community while sim simultaneously being taken be, uh, can't even word right now being the leader of the flat earth community arguably while simultaneously laughing in their face and taking their money because he is not a flat earther I'm more of a flat earther than that guy is he's a genius he's making good money off of these absolute idiots anyway that's besides the point so he's at the lectern he's talking they just say the same things over and over again anyway. So I don't even know why they go to these things. But, you know, it is what it is. So he's given a talk and he's doing like an AMA. And he says to people, you know, just ask me whatever you want. And then Nathan Thompson and, and, and guys, you can hear him fighting back the tears. And it's kind of sweet justice. This is what you get for being an asshole all these years. You can get your point across without harassing children women old people and not being an asshole uh but you chose not to you chose to be an anti-semitic racist homophobic prick and uh your uppance good sir has come anyway let me play it for you and uh, we'll talk about it just after this thing i know i won't be able to talk to you all and i'm heading out tomorrow morning so whatever you want to ask me i don't care what it is or how personal hi uh, guys i'm getting like a lot of messages uh we didn't block anyone from the official Flat Earth and Globe discussion. We got 140,000 members in there. That's where you're wrong, bucko. <laughs> you haven't got any members in there anymore, do you? <laughs> you can hear it in his voice. He's like, I just, I'm getting loads of messages from the Flat Earth and Globe discussion group. Learning the truth. The group was just deleted a few minutes ago. What? So I'm getting all kinds of people messaging me saying, why am I banned? Why am I banned? Nobody's banned. The group disappeared. So after four years, it was a good run, guys. I was last on the way here. I've been blocked. I was blocked when we went to rally. I was blocked when we went to Denver. I was blocked when we went to Dallas. I couldn't live stream. I couldn't be in the group. And I was laughing on the way here. And I was like, man, I'm not blocked. I can live stream. And the group disappeared. So funny how that works out. I just want to let you guys know that's what happened. So thanks, Nathan. Good to see you, Nathan. So I've got to ask, how is he going to introduce himself now when he does debates? Uh, I run the large... Oh, yeah, no, I don't. I run... Oh, yeah, no, I don't do that. Uh, I've got a dog and I live in my car and I believe the earth is flat. <laughs> you fucking dipshit. Anyway, so, yeah, he's, he's, as you guys are obviously well, well aware now, the Flat Earth and Globe Discussion Group has been nuked 
from orbit um 140,000 subscribers what members members in the group um all gone all those posts damn maybe if you weren't such a dickhead this wouldn't have happened sorry not sorry Can you promise yeah. <laughs> oh it's all good hey so nathan we're curious your first reaction losing the facebook group you what know are you, what yeah, are you gonna do i felt like there's a lot of weight lifted off my shoulders because I, I when i started that group i would sleep for two or three hours bro and i'd wake up and I have such a commitment to the truth of the flat earth that like, I was like, is anyone cursing? Is anyone insulting our members? They're gonna go, They're gonna, we're gonna boot their ass, you know what I mean? I don't care. But after four years of doing that, and then deleting the group, I feel like a giant weight was lifted off my shoulders. You can see it in his face that he knows he's lying. He's like, I'm not even mad, bro. Bullshit. That was everything to you. And I gotta say, I do feel sorry for him. I, I'm guessing that's a really hard thing for him to go through. But even though I can empathize with how he feels, which a sociopath like him can't, I still do feel bad for him and all that. But at the same time, dude, you deserve it. You treat people like shit and you're a liar. You know you're a liar and you're abusive. You're just a horrible fucking human being. You deserve it. You absolutely deserve it. And, uh, now, I want to start a new group, and it's just flat earth. We're not gonna debate global well, because we did that for four years. Uh, no you didn't. I was in that group for ages until I was identified <laughs> as a persona non grata and uh, got booted a few months ago. But I was in there for ages. I was in there for months and months and months, unnoticed, undetected. I had been muted for not posting science, bro. Um, just for asking questions like, you know, what is the moon? What are stars? Etc. You know, the usual stuff that flat earthers can't answer. I have never seen in that group a genuine discussion where somebody has been like, okay, I've got some genuine questions and a flat earther's got some genuine answers. Never happened. It was an echo chamber. Everybody knows that. So saying, we're going to make a new group and it's going to be even better and it's going to be just flat earthers and we're not even going to debate against the globehead priests. It's like, yeah, you never did that anyway, dude. You never did that. Okay, that's how we made a name for ourselves. We're showing that they have no arguments. We're showing that they don't test earth themselves. We're showing that they blindly believe everything the government tells them. Show that they're all pre programmed to ask the same 10 or 20 questions. Where's the edge? Are all astronauts lying? Show me a picture of the flat earth or the entire flat earth. It's all straw man, all fallacies. And so, honestly, I feel like they set me free, dude. Okay, great. You know, I feel so good. The way he's acting right now kind of reminds me of, you know, like when you're a teenager. And you break up with your girlfriend and your friends are like, you okay, bro? You're like, I didn't even like that bitch anyway, man. <laughs> Fuck that bitch. Yeah. Um, because, like, I, honestly, I didn't think we would get over 100,000 members. Yeah. And we've got 100,000 members in three years. You know what I mean? And, and, and we would add 1,200 members a week. And the group reflects in members 500 members a week. And we're like, man, they are hiding. I wouldn't be surprised if we had a quarter million or half a million people in the group and they were just hiding the members, you know, somehow through this algorithm. So, in my opinion now, Dude, anyone who comes in, acts like a person globe, asks questions about globe earth, how do you explain this? Bro, you're booted. You're booted, okay? So basically the exact same as the original group then. Um, again, you never allowed open discussion. Anybody ever asked a question, challenged anything that a flat earther said, they get muted or booted. That was always the way. So you're kidding yourself to try and say that. That's the case. I, I got a question for you. you. You mentioned that you think Facebook might have hidden the actual number of members, the actual uh, number being, as you thought, closer to quarter a million or half a million. Uh, first of all, nah, I doubt it. Uh, second of all, why was there so little engagement in the group, though? Obviously, there was a lot of posts and a lot of comments because it was a large group. There's no question about it. But why so little engagement? It's almost as if somebody bought subscribers or bought members. Hmm, very similar to your YouTube channel, which also has very low engagement. I actually get more engagement than your channel, and my channel is tiny and insignificant in comparison to your great, glorious channel. So that's just one thing. The other question I have, 
all of those uh, members that you paid for, will they like refund you for those or will they just transfer those to your new group, I wonder? Hmm. Remains to be seen, I guess. Like, you're either a flat earther and you're trying to figure everything out, which is cool, you know? You understand space. We're not blasting through space. The Earth's not a globe marching that NASA shows us. And large bodies of water don't curve it. If you can't figure that out, we don't need to talk about Sigma Cantus. We don't need to talk about moon phases. We don't need to talk about Mars and Saturn. We don't need to talk about uh, seasons. We don't talk about an edge. We don't talk about any of that crap, okay? So you realize the surface of Earth doesn't curve and it's not spinning a thousand miles an hour. You're not welcomed in the new group. Sorry. What's your favorite flat Earth group? Favorite one would be Lewis headaches. When large bodies of water are at rest, they do not curve. The surface is level and horizontal to the container. So fluid statics, in my opinion, 70% of the Earth's surface is water. Every globe head knows that. When you teach them physics of water and how water at rest is curving, it's not convex, it's perfectly flat. That's why they call it sea level. The word level means free of bends, curves, or irregularity. So it's not, it's not bending, it's not irregular, it's Synonyms are plumb, flush, flat, straight. So when they say sea level, they're saying sea flat. They're saying sea plumb. C Wrong again, kiddo. When people talk about sea level, they mean conforming to the curvature of the earth. Something that is absolutely provable, testable, observable. And in order for you to say that it's not, you have to deny the existence of space satellites and most of science so i think you're the one that's got some proving to do good sir flat, yeah. see straight you know so and, and what's funny is you don't see curved right so when you see you seeing straight on so it's kind of redundant to say sea level that is kind of an oxymoron it's the sea that's why you can see so far guys there's no topography there's no trees there's no buildings there's no people in your way asking you, well, how do you explain star rotation, right? So I think fluid statics would be the number one. The second best one, my favorite one to go with, and this is great for debating. Anytime I'm in a debate, does the Earth rotate under things or not? Because the religion teaches the ball Earth rotates under things, guys. Bob allegedly proved it on Netflix. But if the Earth rotates under a Sagnac interferometer or ring laser gyroscope, it would have to rotate under hot air balloons. Cannons shot straight up, helicopters, planes flying east and west and west and east would have drastically different times for their arrivals. Like, uh, this is so basic, guys, that when something goes up in the air, like you jump, you don't land in a different spot. That's what the globe religion says, dude. That's what could be the globe religion. Is. So if you, if you can adjust the aperture in your eyes, right, so you can let in enough information, enough life, enough knowledge into your brain, and you're not narrow-minded, and you're going to see, of course, everything he's been talking about, everything I've been talking about, everything we've all been talking about. Did a religious extremist Bible literalist flat earther just call all of us narrow minded. Cool story, bro. It's not some conspiracy theory, it's reality. So, When's the last time you watched Authentic Intent? Oh man, honestly, maybe six months ago or so. Um, like, I love what you do. You're more relaxed than me, you know? Um, you have a different approach. You want, you, I, I love Flash Megan, you love Flash Megan. Yeah. But my, your Flash Megan is like, walk into it. Uh, yeah. My right. Flash Megan is like, fishing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going for yeah. I'm going for juggler. Yeah. Yeah. Your flat smacking consists of accosting little children, following them home, shouting at them in school, uh, accosting ladies out cycling while you chase them down the road, etc., etc., etc. And uh, I've never seen you maybe confront a big dude, for example. I've never seen you go up to a bunch of bikers and confront them because you're a pussy. You pick the easy target. You're a manipulator and you're an abuser. We've seen it with the videos of you abusing your ex-partner and her child. Uh, it comes as no surprise to me. Um, and I don't think it comes as a surprise to anybody. You haven't got the balls to approach a big fucking dude on the street and start calling him names or abusing him. 
because you're a pussy. There's lots of different That's style. Style. That's That's different style. Yeah. And you know what? Yours is good. Yeah. Mine is good. Yeah. Everyone has to have because different strokes for different folks, right? <laughs> so people that I'll get, they won't respond to me. But Josh will get. And the people that are too mellow and think they freaking know everything yeah. that Josh can't get, I'm going to make you look like an idiot. <laughs> so I'm just going to put on the old honesty hat for a second, right? No hyperbole, no joking around here or anything like that. I can honestly say, and I mean this, I mean this genuinely. I have never watched a video where Nathan Thompson has flat smacked somebody and thought that the other person looked like an idiot. You are the one who is the extremist. You just get over emotional and you start abusing people when they don't agree with you. Uh, again, we've seen this from your personal relationships, your manipulative behavior, etc., etc. Uh, so, yeah saying that you're going to make other people look like idiots it's pretty laughable anyway because you're a flat earther i've come across some flat earthers who are fantastic debaters like genuinely very good at debating very good at putting people in a corner and i can respect the fact that they're able to debate very well you on the other hand just get aggressive and try to become emotionally manipulative it doesn't work it just makes you look like an absolute prick so yeah. yeah, I'm gonna yeah. make you feel so stupid. On the reg. On Promise the reg, you. Dude. Promise you. Hit me up. We'll debate. Uh, I'm happy to. Cause, cause I know you guys have nothing. You're gonna run a group of 140,000 globeheads, and they all just ask questions. They don't test anything themselves. And if they did, they wouldn't even believe the results. But they don't test anything themselves. Yeah, that's your first problem, globeheads. Yeah. Freaking problem. best, dude. Freaking best, dude. For sure, man. This guy does not even know how to fist bump. Are you kidding me? The guy's like, good job, dude. Good job. Let me lick your balls, dude. Good job. And then he goes, well done, sir. Well done. Oh, my God. This is the caliber of person we're dealing with here. Oh, my fucking God. Yeah. You're awesome, too, dude. Love you, bro. You're awesome. This is, this is like a, uh, a revival. Amen. You know, this really is like, yeah, because this is gonna carry on. Because people are like in the chat earlier, I saw some people say like, "What's the point of having a bunch of people who already think the Earth is flat together?" Well, we leave, we'll leave, and then we'll go to where we need to go, right? And then we'll spread our how we deliver the truth our way and keep people on fire. Because I've been to revivals before. But there's something you know? that I don't understand there is that when I leave Josh. Mm -hmm. He goes with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His spirit goes with me. You know what I mean? So the koinonia, the camaraderie, the fellowship, it's not just here. When we leave, we all leave together, guys. We're on we're on the same team. You know what I mean? And so but Glovers don't have that. Glovers can't even agree if we're the moon or not. Glovers can't even agree if vaccines are good or not. Glovers can't even agree if they should vote for Trump or Biden. Like hey, they are so polarized. They are so split up and divided. So at least we can all agree. So your issue is that Glovers will argue and debate to try to get to the bottom of things like the presidential election, etc. And you're saying it's great that, oh, well, us flat earthers, we all just believe the same thing. Remind us again who it is that calls people sheeple. I think that was you guys, and that's very sheeplish of you. We all talk about sports. Let's talk. Ooh, sports. Hey, did you watch that Oklahoma State game earlier today? Weather. Weather. Oh, my gosh. Did you see the new movie where they were killing everyone? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. Such a great yeah. movie. I love that movie. How shit must your life be where you can't even enjoy a movie? or the news, or just simply talk about the weather, when your whole world revolves around flat earth and you ridicule people for having a normal life and enjoying things that aren't flat earth. Doing these videos takes up approximately one hour of my day, maximum. Um, I engage with some other channels, I watch some other videos, or sometimes I listen to debates and stuff while I'm doing other things in the house. So for example, I've got a full-time job. I'm also studying full-time. I've got uh, right now about 20 to 25 fish tanks that I gotta take care of. I've got a wonderful life really. I mean, you know, I've got a nice house, a nice car. I live in a beautiful city where it's sunny all the time. I go for nice drives, I go for hikes and I have a really enjoyable life. My whole life doesn't revolve around one really stupid thing like Flat Earth. I thoroughly enjoy making these videos because I love having a laugh about it. But to actually stand there and mock people for enjoying their lives and not caring about your bullshit, that says a lot about you guys. I mean, 
your whole world revolves around this imagination thing. Now, you could say the same thing to me. Oh, your whole world revolves around an imagination globe. You know how much I think about the shape of the Earth during the day? Very little. Almost none. I've got a lot of actual things to do in my life. So, I feel sorry for you that your whole world revolves around this imagination bullshit. How many times did you count when they said Jesus Christ or G-Damn it in yeah. the movie? Yeah. You know, like, get out, like, separate yourself from all that. Get out of your comfort zone. Get out of the closet flat earthers. I think we have a lot more closet flat earthers than we should. Well, G-Damn it, my friends. G-Damn it indeed. Look, if you're in the closet, I'm totally okay with that. I support any member of the LGBTQ community at any time, regardless of whether or not you're a flat earther. I just want you to know that. Uh, as for the religious element of it, I don't believe in your imaginary sky daddy. So it's irrelevant to me what your beliefs are on that whole matter. Uh, I will say, God damn it. I will say, Jesus fucking Christ, if I want to. That's none of your fucking business. So don't tell me what to say or what to think or what to watch. It's none of your business. You make up a very small percentage of the world. And I'm sure you think you're saving the world one flat smack at a time. But you're not. You're just making yourself look like a bigger idiot and descending further and further into your paranoid, schizophrenic environment that you are already a part of. And so just get out there. Have you heard what the word matrix actually means? What's that? A mold. A mold. Back in the day, when they would make pots and pans, they would pour the molten metal or molten whatever the end of a matrix into the mold. So when we were young, we all got poured into the mold, and the mold is first the government, they love us. Watch play video games, watch porn, and, and watch violent video games, and, and just care about yourself, make sure you go to work. Make sure you abuse women and shout at little children and bang on the door until your girlfriend lets you in while you abuse her. Isn't that right, Nathan? It doesn't matter what we like to make sure you vote. Yeah, yeah, make sure you vote, yeah. especially yeah. this right now. So it is a mold, it is a matrix. Make sure you wear it, a mask. It is a system. And once you're out of that system, like and you have eyes to see and ears to hear, it is so obvious. Yeah. Unbelievable, you yeah. know? So why would you not meet with those other people that are outside the matrix? Yeah. Why would you not do that? I literally do not have enough hard disk space to record videos explaining why I would not want to meet with flat earthers. I think it goes without saying though, none of us really would like to. If anything, just the smell would put you off. But uh, we started a new group, it's called the official flat earth, and, you know, official flat earth discussion, no globe. We're not talking to globers anymore. Don't come in the group and pretend it's a globe. Don't ask us how star trails work. That's all BS, okay? Every flat earther learned that the first week, okay? If you're asking that, go to one of the other flat earth groups, check back with us in two weeks. That's right, okay? Yeah. Good to see you. Hey, thanks a lot. Yeah, much love. Yeah, Anything you need, let me know. Yeah, for sure. Man. Yeah, dude, if you need anything, make sure you ask Nathan, like, advice on how to live in a car, how to abuse women, children, dogs, um, how to lie to yourself constantly until you descend into a kind of a state of madness where you believe that you are some kind of messianic figure within a community. Um, so, yeah, do check out Nathan's new group, um, the official Flat Earth discussion group, because, of course, as you all know, the previous group was a Flat Earth and Globe discussion group. Yeah. Anyway, lads and lassies, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoy all of this as much as I did. Um, I got great joy out of this whole scenario. Just to see an asshole get his comeuppance is one of the best feelings of all time. Anyway, thank you so much. Make sure and hit that like button on the way out. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. I really appreciate the engagement. If you want to, you can become a channel member or you can join my Patreon. I'll be doing a monthly giveaway where I'm just gonna send people little packages and little notes. Um, if you're just a subscriber, not a Patreon or a member, uh, you can also email me irishdemonvids at gmail.com and sign up for the um, 
the mailing list so essentially once or twice a month i'm just going to pick a random subscriber and just send you out a nice card or thank you note for being a subscriber um, and i'm going to try and do that at least a couple of times a month i'm actually going today to go buy the uh, cards for that so anyway lads and lassies without further ado thank you so much and uh we're going for the old healthy slanches this morning because it's very hot here and i need my water slancha